Hello and welcome to Let's Keep Playing the O and W. <laughs> the O and W. Railroad Tycoon 3, where we're building the O and W. Well, we're going to keep on building it. Like what? Uh, during the scenario, I just hung a left in Oneida and built New York Central out to uh, Buffalo. I didn't really have much of a choice. I had to get the bronze medal, but um, now that's over with. It's um, you know beat the beat the scenario, and now I'm just playing for fun. So now I can kind of do whatever I want. Like, I'm not going to worry about track building uh, limits anymore. I'm going to build as much track as I feel like. <laughs> or, you know, stuff like that. And I um, not have to worry about hauling specific loads or anything like that. So I'm just going to try to finish up the own W. And the first thing I'm going to do is build from Oneida up north of this lake where, yeah, I know, there's nothing. <laughs> but it's going to be up this way along the northern uh, shore of this lake pretty much up here and turn north and go up to Oswego so that's what the O&W really did you know it just crossed the New York Central here and interchanged with it and it didn't have track rights over it or anything so um, let's figure that out and the first thing we're going to have to do unfortunately is bulldoze all of this because it's, it's just wrong <laughs> it needs to come straight down this way, an overpass, and then have a little branch that, you know, a little Y that connects in. But, um, this is just backwards. This is wrong. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. So, um, let's start bulldozing. And I'm realizing that I'm pretty sure my limitations for YouTube is now 15 minutes, so, um, actually I'm going to be right back while I bulldoze all this. And I'm back. I've all those up to around here-ish. Now I'm coming down, and boy, that's a lot of threes. I can understand why I did it the other way before, but um, I really want to do it this way. And um, cross over right here. That's not bad. And then we're going to have to build a Y coming into the station. Here. And what I'm worried about is see how close up at the top end of that Y it is to the, where the ballast is built up. It can mess with that and cause funny things to happen. So, we're going to do that and switch to bulldoze. That's a little trick I've figured out when you can't get the track to go where you want. Build the little long loop that it makes you build and then bulldoze most of it just so you have this little stub to work with. And we go right in like that. Okay, fine. That's good. There's no room to upgrade the station, but I don't... Well, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to need to upgrade Oneida. It doesn't get that... That's wrong. It doesn't get that big. There. And that looks good. And you see we're not messing with the, the part that elevates, so there won't be any problems there. And let's go up to Oswego. And uh, I might, I might not, I'm not sure yet. I might try to build some little towns that o and actually connected to up here, like right here at the corner of the lake should be Sylvan Beach. And I did do something uh, when I... Uh, remade the scenario to get rid of the track limits. I did uh, make it so that I could build houses for no good reason. So I might, um, I might do that. And that's Sylvan Beach, and then like around here is Cleveland, New York, which I didn't even know New York had a Cleveland. And then up here a little bit more Central Square. Um, I don't know if I'll do all that. And then right after we cross the river here, make this turn. This should be maybe. Fulton, uh, you know, where the screen farm is, I don't know. Last time I did this, there was at least a couple of a house here and there to work with. This time there's just nothing, so I don't know. I might, I might not. Yeah, that was somebody messaging me, I think. Very unprofessional of me. There. Okay, hold on a second, I will be right back. And I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, I hope this doesn't desync a lot. I had it paused for a while, but I don't think that makes it desync. I don't know. Okay, Oswego. 
let's see. Yeah, that's probably as big of a station as I'll ever need there. Let's put it on the corner of those just in case we want to upgrade it. There we go. And, uh, maintenance facility. Probably one this whole length up here. Yeah, that's fine. They don't need oil too often. The water towers, though, there's got to definitely be at least two. Let's see. Oh, about bearish, and then about uh, there, and there. I don't know if I really needed three water towers, but they're cheap, and I don't like my trains running out of water. Um, Oswego, go to Oneida, right? we got to put another Y in. a little funky, but I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can do better than that. Okay. Sometimes you gotta do it from either end and hope you can make it match up. I know. Not wanting to match up. really shouldn't be this hard. Okay, fine. It's going to be a little ugly there, but... Ah, it's not too bad. There. Yeah, I know. Too much of a perfectionist. Oh well. Okay. Oneida, Oswego, and Norwich. Yeah. So, this is going to be not green. And what year is 1854? I think we have another solid close to 10 years before we get another locomotive, which sucks, but oh well. Alright, there's that one. Now we're going to make a way for two cars because it's pretty long hauls there. And I think it'll always have it. Wow, I know it's the first train, but still that's good. Clothing, nice. And then we're going to make another train that, let's see, I just started that one in Ida to Oswego and then Oswego up to here. So this one's going to start in Norwich straight to Oswego and then Oneida on the way up there. That way you got one train going the long way one direction, one train going the long way the other. And they start in different towns, which is always good. There's nothing in Norwich. Oh, best laid plans. Um, see, why does that train look like it's crawling? I guess it's okay. I'll, I'm getting used to watching my sandbox. I was playing out of it. Boy, there is really nothing here. Wow. Well, let's see. That's going to Norwich. Maybe with some of what this is bringing in, we'll want to go further down to Oneida. Oh, he's already got a lumber car now. Let's see. Anything? Yes. See? And that's going to go further down. That shows, That really shows off well how good you can get stuff to move around in this game, especially with the 1.06 patch from HawkDog.com. I think that helps it move around a lot more. Because he just dropped off that meat. And now this other train is going to take it further down to Oswego. That's cool. So I made a lot of money just for getting it to Norwich. Now this train's making more money getting it to Oswego. That's, that's good. And where's the one that started in Oswego? Oh, that's right. It started in Oneida. That one's bringing clothing in to Oswego. Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot more laid back. Um, you know, watching trains for the most part, and now with this uh, series, now that we don't have to worry about goals or anything. And uh, like I said, I might kind of cheat more as far as building houses and making little towns, like this whole stretch between Oswego 
and Oneida there's nothing at all and there should be something <laughs> there should be something and there's Auburn maybe I'll do that next Auburn Auburn branch boy that's not easy oh I'm sorry I go 235 it's never gonna make that much again that was just because it's the first train let's see I guess next it's gonna be Scranton Division though definitely maybe next year I'll build it Let's see. Not bad coming back to Norwich. Cool. This one's headed to Oswego. Very nice. Oh, this is nice straighter. I mean, it was more trees. Let's see. Boy, he's going slow up there. Oof. Well, you'd think it was tens he was trying to climb. If you have a lot of even threes in a row, that's enough to really slow them down, though. These locomotives are just pretty slow. Even with the six drivers. Boy. But we're through it. And, uh, it's kind of rough here. Yeah. I built it better in Sandbox. I think this little part. Although parts of it I think I built better in this version than Sandbox. I know in Sandbox I put a I put a bridge here, but there's really absolutely no need for that. I mean, look, it's got a tiny bit of a dip, but not much. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Fixed it just but just with the ballast. And, uh, yeah, I really like this line though. It's working out good. It's a little crazy, but you know, there's Hancock. That's where the Scranton Division is going to start from, and that is going to be fun. Just starting right off from Hancock, building a bridge over this, and going up this mountain, and then I know there's a tunnel here to get into this valley to get to Scranton, and it's pretty crazy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. That's definitely next Scranton Division, though. Let's see. Neutral. Yeah, I know, I just built a lot of track. So what? I'm, I'm beating out the other competition really well. I mean, even this guy who's got a real sprawling railroad now. Oh, I'll show you that before we end things this time. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta show you this. This is great. Uh, this guy that's been building from Albany and Schenectady, he's up to Saratoga Springs. He's got a Troy division. Of course, he's got it with no return loop so everybody's got to switch back to get on that and then same thing here and Hudson but this is the crazy line when he starts going up towards the mountains he's got Chatham here with a little station missing half the town and then he couldn't continue the, the track from here no he starts here and branches alongside which is just weird and then now Look at this roller coaster up the mountain. Look at that. <laughs> 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14. And then he even puts a maintenance facility right in the middle of it just to make it even worse. I mean, look at that grade. That is insane. I, I mean, I don't know why he didn't build a tunnel. He, there, he must have I mean, been able to build a tunnel. And I see no trains here. That sucks. When I was looking at this before, he figured out that he wasn't making any money, I guess. Oh, and he's got only a little station missing two houses. But when I was looking at this before, oh, here's one. But he had trains coming the other direction, coming up to the top of this roller coaster here, and then flying down the mountain. It was so funny. Maybe we'll see if we can catch this one coming back. Uh, how much time do I have? i got to watch it. Oh, 14 minutes. Well, we'll have to see that next time in the Scranton Division. Oh, there's the American class. Oh, cool. All right, I'll see you next time.